In previous lessons, we have covered how to change general attributes of a view programmatically, such as its height, width, or margins. But what if you want to change an attribute that is specific to your view and the layout it is in? For example, if you have a text view above a button, how can you programmatically change the text view's positions to go below and above the button? Because this is unique to the relative layout that the text view is in, and if you had a linear layout, it would not work. So in this lesson, I'll cover all of that and more. You can start by pausing the video and copying the code that I have over here. Just as in previous lessons, in order to programmatically change the attributes of a view, we're going to have to use relativelyout.layoutparams. And the reason we're using relativelyout.layoutparams specifically is because we want to change attributes that are unique to the relative layout, such as layout above, that the regular view group .layoutparams would not have. Over here is the documentation for relative layout that layout params from Android developers. And we can see that this specifies how a view is positioned within a relative layout, which is what we have in our app, a text view in a relative layout. But if you search for add rule over here in public methods, you can see that this method adds a layout rule to be interpreted by the relative layout. And this is what we'll use because we can use the add rule to programmatically add in Java a new rule to the layout. Such as and before we actually get into adding the rules, we're going to check now whether our text view is currently located above or below the button. And we can do that with a pair of if statements and an else statement. So now, if you remember from the documentations, we had to say params, which is our relative layout params, dot add rule, and provide it with the parameter, the verb, what we're going to do. So we're going to say relative layout dot below. The second parameter we have to provide is the subject, which is what we're going to set our text view below. So in this case, we want to make it below the button, and the button is called change over here. We're going to copy and paste this to our else statement, except now we're going to change it to relatively up dot above, because if our text view is currently below the button, now we want to make it above the button. And in order to change the value of our Boolean to reflect these changes we made, we're going to say above equals not above. And this basically sets it to the opposite. So if it was true, now above will be false. If it was false, now above will be true. There is one more thing we have to do before we can actually run this code. And that is we have to remove the previous rules that we had. So if you head on over to the documentation again, and you search for add rule, you can see that something over here is called something called remove rule. And this removes a layout rule to be interpreted by the relative layout. And the reason that we have to remove a rule is because let's say we start off with our text view being above the button. And then we press the button, and now we add the rule that our text view should be below the button. Well, see, the problem is that now we have two rules that are in opposition to each other. We already have the rule over here that our text view should be above the button, and now we just added the rule that it should be below the button. So that's going to cause some problems and unexpected behavior with the text view not being above or below the button. So to fix that, we're going to say params.remove rule, and then we're going to say relatively out.above. So we're going to move, remove the rules saying that it should be above the button. We're also going to copy and paste it over here, but instead we're going to say remove rule relative layout dot below. And to set these new layout params, we're just going to say text dot set layout params and then provide this params object and we'll run the app. Upon running the app, you can see we have our switch button over here. And when I press it, hello world goes below the button. When I press it again, it goes above because we're adding the rules to change its position and we're also moving the previous rule. What you learned from this lesson can be applied for more than just layout above and layout below. Views and relative layouts and other types have lots of attributes and now you can change them all programmatically at runtime.